And welcome back. An in-depth look at sexual abuse on Montana's reservations is the focus of a PBS documentary. It's a collaboration with the Wall Street Journal and outlines the crimes of a trusted pediatrician on the Blackfeet Reservation. MTN's Tim McGonigal brings us a preview. Dr. Stanley Patrick Weber arrived in Browning in 1992 to work at the town's hospital run by the Indian Health Services. He made a good first impression, helping expand the hospital's youth outreach programs. But not everyone was sold. Back then, Blackfeet Tribal Chairman Tim Davis was working in the hospital's facilities department. His duties included inspecting government-owned housing, including where Weber lived. The gentleman had um, a lot of uh, food items, candy, pop, cookies, and then toys, games, videos, uh, games that boys would play with. Others at the hospital became suspicious as well. They were concerned about an after-hours clinic Weber started, where he would see children without a parent or another adult present. This is grooming behavior. So you take kids who are high risk, who are from difficult family circumstances, and who are poor. And you offer them new clothes, and you offer them food, and you offer them, you know, a home where the lights are on all the time, a child will gravitate toward that. After his time in Browning, Weber was transferred to the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota, where another doctor became concerned about his behavior. When he shared those concerns with Becky Foster and her husband Mark, a former IHS psychologist, anger and frustration set in. It says to me as a Indian woman, as a mother, is that your kids don't matter. As allegations mounted, Dr. Weber was suspended. One of the people who investigated Weber was one of his superiors, Ron Keats, who would leave the agency and later be convicted on possession of child pornography. According to the former CEO of the Pine Ridge IHS Hospital, Weber was later cleared of any misconduct and allowed to return to work. Weber would ultimately be charged with abusing four boys on the Pine Ridge Reservation and two on the Blackfeet Reservation. In September of 2018, he stood trial in federal court in Great Falls. The first witness was former Blackfeet patient Joe Fourhorns. The prosecutor, in her opening statement, she puts up a picture of Joe Fourhorns when he was about 10 or 11 years old, right around the time that he would have been abused by Dr. Weber. She wants the jury to remember this little boy. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News. Thanks, Tim. We'll be right back.